ChatGPT can do most of the coding I can do nowadays, and in a fraction of the time. So is my employment as a software engineer truly safe? Both AI and the massive layoffs are creating this huge cloud of uncertainty, but I hate it because at the same time, it's exciting. We're uniquely positioned to influence one of the biggest transformations of technology. So let's look at how much we're at risk and how to turn that into opportunity. If you're new here, my name is Juan Carlos and I'm a software engineer on a journey to share what I've learned about this lifestyle. Today, that is questioning my entire career choice. No big deal. Once you start learning how to properly prompt ChatGPT and the types of responses you can get from it, it's impressive how much your coding it can do for you. I simply describe the function I want and ChatGPT lays out the code for me. Need to sort an array in a specific order or just like write a new API endpoint. Uh, you can just ask ChatGPT and it usually provides a spot on response with a convenient copy button so that you can just take that snippet and paste it into your project without any .NET experience or domain knowledge over C-sharp, I've been able to write a new Azure application from scratch, and I'm deeply impressed at how much progress I've been able to make with minimal code written by myself. And it's not just about generating code. It also assists in things like debugging, offering suggestions to fix errors, or improve code efficiency. And even for things like learning new languages or technologies, like my C-sharp scenario, ChatGPT just explains concepts and answers all of my dumb questions in a very digestible manner. It really does feel like having your own senior engineer on call around the clock. And even for problems with a lot less structure, like if I'm stuck on some creative problem, I can just turn to ChatGPT for brainstorming aid and I eventually come up with a decent idea on how to solve the issue. So I really do wonder sometimes why not just employ ChatGPT instead of me. And then I remember that even if I've been able to accomplish a lot with it, there's still a lot of hours of prompting behind the scenes to generate all that functionality. Okay, the C-sharp story is from a personal project. The reality is that ChatGPT has barely made a dent in my software engineering day job. The sheer complexity and multi-dimensional nature of software engineering in a large-scale corporate environment like Microsoft's is something that so far AI cannot really manage. When we talk about software engineering, writing code is often the first task that comes to mind. However, this is just a small part of the job. We usually need someone who can understand specs, take complex business needs and turn them into solutions and make sure that systems are secure and performant. AI is still not great at these things. Take the task of interpreting specs, for example. These are usually a complex mix of technical jargon and stakeholder needs, implicit requirements, and plenty of one-on-one -on -one conversations. A human can generally read between the lines and use their prior knowledge to fill in the gaps, but AI still struggles with such context-dependent tasks. Also, the effects of code changes at a system-wide level. This is a critical part of software engineering that requires an understanding of how different modules in software interact with each other and the system as a whole. While AI can now generate isolated code snippets very effectively, its ability to understand and predict the implications of those changes on the overall system is just not there yet. Pretty much same for security. AI models are only beginning to make progress there. There are AI-powered tools that can detect potential security flaws in a code base, but we're still a long way from AI that can fully understand and implement a comprehensive security strategy for a complex system. However, none of these tasks is theoretically fully out of reach for language models. And I'm fairly certain that we will start seeing some degree of AI takeover in these areas sooner than we expect. But beyond the merely technical aspects of our jobs, at the heart of software engineering is a set of skills that are uniquely human. Skills that involve intuition, empathy, and strategic thinking. This is where we will likely never really be replaced. Take a look at communication. It's not just about tossing information back and forth. There's a human element to that. Reading between the lines, understanding emotions, and even things like navigating bruised egos. In situations like this, a human touch really goes a long way. And then there's things like empathy. We don't just technically understand understand our users. We can really put ourselves in their shoes. We know their pain points, their needs, and their aspirations. Because of this, we can build software that doesn't just work, but it also makes users' lives easier and better. ChatGPT and large language models, despite their impressive capabilities, they still lack these human experiences that we can channel into our work. This empathy also helps guide our product's evolution. We see the bigger picture and we understand how our software needs to adapt to shifting trends and user needs. ChatGPT will likely continue to become the master coder we will probably never be, but it can't predict how that relationship between humans and technology 
will transform in the future. And the same goes for teamwork, literally a fully human game. Software development isn't a one-person job, usually. It involves collaboration, understanding, and shared triumphs. A large language model won't grasp the excitement of a team pulling together to hit a deadline or the bonds formed when overcoming a challenge together. And these bonds are a big spark of the serendipity that makes products successful in the long run. So while AI and automation can take over some routine aspects of our work, they're far from replacing our uniquely human skills. So how are we stacking up on the replaceability spectrum? I'm going to pull a number out of my sleeve and say, I feel like 40% of my efforts are or will soon be replaceable. So let's look at where we can start gaining back some ground. It's true that while large language models like ChatGPT are still in their early stages, their potential is enormous and largely untapped by industries outside of tech. As we have seen in the past, the rise of coding brought with it the so-called digital transformation to businesses. Similarly, AI is expected to bring its own wave of changes, transforming the landscape from being just digital to being intelligent. According to Next Move Strategy, the AI market is projected to catapult to an astounding value of nearly 2 trillion US dollars by 2030. This leap won't be confined to just the tech sector. It's instead predicted to permeate numerous fields like supply chains, marketing, product development, and research. Generative AI is of course a leading charge in this transformation, but its true potential is only unlocked when it's integrated seamlessly into existing business processes. And that's where our role as software engineers becomes pivotal. If you want to use traditional programming as an analogy, OpenAI is creating the coding language, but it's us that need to use it to code custom applications that meet unique business needs. Our job will be to architect and implement AI systems that fit the specific needs of different industries and business models. This growth in the AI industry should open a lot of opportunities for software engineers. Again, just my intuition speaking, but that level of growth should be more than enough to offset that 40% replaceability score that I totally made precisely calculated. So, in my opinion, there are three crucial areas for us to focus for future-proving our careers. First up is still just coding. It's not really going anywhere, but how we do it is definitely changing. AI is set to take on the more lower-level coding tasks, just like not a lot of people find themselves coding in assembly or C in modern applications. It will still be helpful to be familiar with the concepts, but our understanding of system design, architectural decisions, and high-level programming practices will become even more important. Think of it as moving up in the abstraction ladder, stepping away from the small details and looking at the bigger picture instead. Next, AI experience. This is more than knowing how to ask ChatGPT to write your functions. It's about understanding how AI and especially large language models operate and learning how to seamlessly integrate them into complex software systems. Familiarity with LLM APIs and their consumption to process information is one of those skills that will very soon become critical. And last but not least, we have domain knowledge. Each industry has its own nuances and understanding these can provide a real edge. As AI becomes more widely adopted, this knowledge in specific sectors will be a key part in your toolkit. Given the sheer amount of processes that are not yet intelligent, I suspect there will be a lot of opportunities for people who have domain knowledge outside of software engineering and successfully intersect their coding and AI abilities with their know-how of a given industry. Yes, more than a fair share of our responsibilities are going to become replaceable, but I see this more as an evolution than anything else. Adaptability has always been a key trait of successful software engineers, and there's no better time to make that trait shine than right now. There's only one problem though. Ramping up in all of these areas will be unsustainable if we're not strategic with it. So if you have time, check out this video where I share how I got some of the best software engineering lessons I have from the most unlikely of places. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.